Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There is this thing right now sitting inside your computer. Well, there's a lot of things inside your computer, but there's this thing that usually all those things are connected to in some capacity or capacitor. <clears throat> it's called a motherboard. And uh, don't ask me why there's no such thing as a father board. Although, you know, I, I think we should uh, lobby the industry to see if we can get that term introduced. The father board would most likely be relegated to meaningless tasks and get blamed for everything that goes wrong. No matter, this motherboard that sits in your system is a crucial piece of equipment. If it's not working, eh, good luck using anything in your computer because it, it just won't happen. Got a question here from Ian in the PC Pit Stop community. He writes, I have a Sony VAIO laptop, which sadly has died a death. What, is, what do people mean when they say that anyway? Died a death. Well, it's dead anyway. I recently got a virus called Win32 Vroot. Don't know what that is, but apparently it's bad. On it, and sadly the unit only being two years old, the graphics chip became corrupt. And guess what? Sony wanted 800 pounds for a new motherboard. What is that? Uh, $2.50 in American? The dollar's not doing too well these days. For a new motherboard, it was my only form of communication with the outside world as am almost housebound. I wondered how or where I could get a replacement motherboard for my, you know, computer, my laptop. Can anyone help, please, with four question marks at the end of that? That's hence my emphasis on the word please. Well, uh, long story short, uh, I'm not sure if uh, any kind of virus would destroy a motherboard like that. I mean, I suppose if it was, you know, invading the chipset of sorts, um, you know, I, I'd imagine it would probably hurt your data, potentially your operating system, but, you know, killing the motherboard or the graphics chip, that doesn't sound right. Uh, no matter if your motherboard is hosed and you, you might want to, you know, run a few diagnostics if you can, uh, you know, low-level diagnostics, you know, before booting into Windows, which you may not be able to do anymore if your computer doesn't work. I mean, if your computer doesn't even boot, yeah, you may have a problem. It may not need a motherboard replacement. Maybe it's just a power supply uh, or something else. Maybe a cord got knocked loose. You may not need to spend money on a new motherboard. Now, even if you do, yeah, you got to go through Sony. It's usually the way uh, laptops, or as they call them these days, notebook computers work. That's the name of the game. I couldn't replace the motherboard inside of this particular notebook computer without going through Apple, since Apple makes the computer. And luckily for me, I've got Apple Care, so it's fully covered. I wouldn't have to spend money. That's that's another thing. You, you may save some money when you buy these computers from a store, but you gotta watch those service and support plans. Make sure you're covered. Know how long you're covered for, because when it comes to getting things repaired, you really don't want to spend more money, because you spent money in the first place buying the computer. Support is kind of important. and. Even though I've never worked with uh, Sony in relation to their PC support, uh, I've heard some not so happy things. I'm just saying, gotta look into that. So you may save money, you know, in the short run, you know, in buying the computer, but you, you may also end up spending money. Unfortunately, if it is a motherboard problem, uh, it's gonna cost you. My recommendation is to find a local geek, not necessarily from a superstore, uh, but find a local geek. Uh, Pay them in pizza and cola, and they, they'll usually work through the night, uh, to take a look at the computer to, to assess the situation, to give you a report, and say, well, you don't need a new motherboard. Actually, all you needed was to remove the paper clip from this particular hole. I'm not saying that you've done that. I'm just saying sometimes it's just the smallest things that trip us up, so no need to spend money on that. I mean, beyond a pizza. Most geeks I, I know will, will work for a pizza. Some are a little more expensive, some certainly a a little uh, more affordable than that. Uh, but that's that's my recommendation. I don't know if I have a, a, a complete definitive answer. There are a lot of variables at play here. It's kind of difficult to say if I don't have it sitting in front of me. And that's I'm not saying send the laptop, notebook, whatever to me. Can't handle it. Don't want it. I'm just doing my best to help you remotely. That's what PC Pit Stop asked me to do. So that is what I am doing. So if anybody else has any recommendations for Ian, or anybody else for that matter having uh, these kind of problems, feel free to leave a comment here in the thread wherever you happen to be watching this video, which you may have embedded somewhere from YouTube. That's where I'm at. YouTube! I like saying it that way. It kind of creeps people out. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, we've got our own community of tech experts at geeks.perillo.com. Over 20,000 now.
have registered for that, I'm happy to say. From all around the world, as a matter of fact. Then we've also got this chat room as part of the live video feed going out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech, helping people, and sometimes getting help. I mean, the people who come in getting help and helping people. You can do both. They're not mutually exclusive. You can give help and get help. Usually not at the same time, though. That's a, that's that's tricky. I don't know if you could pull that off. But if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome to, as long as you're a nice person. doesn't matter where you're from. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.